is up guys welcome back to pokemon news daily for monday august 29 2019 i'm your host daddy game of red bringing you a daily news show where we go over all the pokemon news for the day from official news to the leaks to the rumors spamming across all medias of pokemon from the games to the movies to the anime so if you want to be kept in the loop with the latest news make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on if you like today's video be sure to leave a like down below also be sure to leave a comment as well as i do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos so let me know your thoughts on today's topics but without no further ado let's jump right into the news firstly we're going to be talking about pokemon go and this is coming from the official pokemon go twitter account it says attention trainers the limit on pokemon storage has been expanded to 2500 which is an increase to the previous limit of 2000 players are still required to pay 200 poke coins pokemon goals in game currency for 50 item slots until the players hit the item limit of 2500 i think this is great i know a ton of players has been asking for this more space for items in the game myself i really never have issues about the item limit if i do hit it i just toss a couple of berries or whatever but i know there's players out there who go through tossing items daily and this is a great thing niantic is listening to what the community wants and what the community needs and is slowly rolling out features like this to the players so this is pretty cool again while we're talking about pokemon go niantic also announced today the next level 5 raid boss after armored mewtwo leads raid battles this wednesday it's one that we have been waiting for rayquaza will replace armored mewtwo with its shiny variant finally being available rayquaza level 5 raids will last until september 2nd i love this i love this i love this they did a little shiny rayquaza trailer where they showed the shiny version of rayquaza flying in space and it flies down and like enters pokemon go you see all the pokestops and stuff like that i thought it was pretty cool i know the community has been hungry for this shiny i believe the last time Rayquaza, first time Rayquaza came, wasn't shiny, and then it popped up again, and still wasn't shiny. A lot of the community had a, like a backlash about it, and just was like basically asking for the shiny. Now we got it. I think it's pretty cool the way they did it. They, you know, they launched it with a trailer, which was again to me is pretty cool. They also had like a tease on Twitter saying soon and had like black moons, and everybody was trying to figure out what exactly that meant. But it meant that we were getting shiny Rayquaza, which is pretty cool. Now the next news story for today is about the upcoming Pokemon World Championship and this is coming from Pokemon.com. It says 2019 Pokemon World Champion Spectator Activities. There are plenty to do at the annual Pokemon World Championship even if you don't plan to participate in the main event. The 2019 Pokemon World Championship will offer even more than before. If you're looking for a more leisure way to enjoy the event or if you're bringing along a friend or a family member who doesn't plan to compete, you can purchase a spectator badge just for $10, which includes access to all three days of the event and comes with two Pokemon training card game booster packs, which is pretty cool. The link to purchase this spectator badge is going to be in the description just in case you want to attend this event. I'm going to be out here in Switzerland, so I am going to miss out on Worlds this year, which is a bummer, but I'm going to be covering it from here it says while you're there you're going to be able to play some upcoming games it says be along the first to play the next wave of pokemon games get hands on with the demo version of pokemon sword and pokemon shield for the nintendo switch and the upcoming mobile game pokemon masters get details on the pokemon sword and pokemon shield demo and the Pokemon Masters demos, there's links. I went to the links, there's really nothing that they explain about these demos in particularly that's new. From what we know and what we can gather, when they usually do this Pokemon demo tour where they take the demo that was playable at E3, they continue to bring that same demo build over and over and over to different events. I'm thinking this is going to be the same gym demo from E3. I would be very surprised if we saw an update to that demo because it does take time to put a demo together. I think they are going to just use that same demo built from E3. Now, Pokemon Masters demo might be the same demo that 
is currently available for Singapore users. I know there's been a ton of coverage of Pokemon Masters already from sites like Cerebi.net. I'm gonna have the link in the description below just in case you need information on Pokemon Masters and what the demo contains. There's tons of information about Pokemon Masters already out there. So if you're looking for it and you're waiting to play it, it should be coming soon from what I, what everything I've seen from the demo. It looks amazing and it looks kind of done. It looks like the game is ready to be shipped worldwide. It's just a little bit tweaks they're doing. That's why they rolled out the demo version first. It says continuing along, it says Pokemon console gaming lounge. Enjoy classic and modern games with some of the Pokemon's biggest fans at the Pokemon console gaming lounge. The lounge will have 32 consoles featuring some of the best Pokemon games from years past. Available to play all weekend long at no additional cost. The games that are going to be available to play are going to be Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Stadium 2, Pokemon Puzzle League, Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon Pinball, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, Challenge, Pokemon Tournament DX, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. That is a hell of a lineup. The fact that they're bringing out Nintendo 60, well, I don't know if Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2 is available somehow through the Wii Shop or the Wii U, but the fact that they're bringing systems out for players to play this at this event is pretty cool. I really hope they bring out the original hardware to play Pokemon Snap and play Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2. I think those games are going to be the highlight of this gaming lounge, but it's so cool to see them actually bring these classic games and highlight them in a way that the community who haven't been able to grow up with them can participate and play them for the first time. It says Pokemon trading card game first step activity. If you are interested in learning how to play Pokemon trading card game, but you're not sure how to get started, bring a friend or make a new one and take the first steps on a path of becoming a Pokemon trading card game player. In this activity, players will build their first deck and then battle a friend with the help of a guide. I think this is pretty cool. Again, if you are interested in joining the training card game family and you don't know where to start and you're heading to Pokemon Worlds anyway, this is going to be a great way to just learn how to build the deck and understand the language of the Pokemon training card games. It says, see the experts play Pokemon. It says, players from over 40 countries will be competing for over 500,000 in prizes during the weekend. Come to be a part of the attendance and cheer on the best players in the Pokemon training card game, the video games, and the Pokemon Tournament DX competitions, which again, are the main event of Pokemon Worlds, but they're also side events. It says you can get into the action without joining the main events by competing in some of the hundred of smaller side events that will take place inside of the hall. Competitors can earn tickets to redeem for fun Pokemon prizes at the Pokemon prize wall. Most events last between one and three hours, so they are easy to fit inside of your schedule if you're going to Pokemon Worlds. Pokemon Center, it says come check out the Pokemon center pop-up shop available during show hours at the event get awesome plushies apparel and other merchandise normally found at the pokemon center and yes most likely they're gonna have exclusive items for the 2019 Pokemon World. So if you are a collector, you're definitely gonna wanna pop up for this. The store hours are listed here, just in case you wanna check it. And then basically the hours that Pokemon World is gonna be going on. It says Pokemon Detective Pikachu screening. Come watch Pokemon Detective Pikachu with other fans in a pop-up theater room 146 on level one on the E. Walter Washington Convention Center. This screening will use the special detective mode from the new home video release screening times are below they're gonna be one at Friday and one on Saturday I think this is pretty cool you basically chill with a ton of Pokemon fans and watch the detective Pikachu movie but the home release version that has a detective mode I'm not sure what this detective mode is but it basically looks like they're gonna just pop a DVD in and you guys are gonna be able to watch detective Pikachu with this mode on sounds pretty cool and then they're also gonna have VIP signing during the weekend VIPs will be available for signing at Pacific hours as you guys know signing basically signing their autographs to the public who's gonna be there Masuda and others from the Pokemon Company Company. I'm not going to try to butcher these names. As you guys know, I'll probably have their faces up on screen so you guys can see. But they're going to be there 
at Pokemon Worlds doing autographs. So if you want to get like a Pokemon game signed or whatever the case may be, you can do that at the 2019 World Championship. Now the final news for today is regarding the Pokemon World's theme. And this year's Pokemon World theme is confirmed to be based around museums. And like I said previously, every time at Worlds, we have a unique Pokemon plush and this year is no different with the world's Pikachu being like an explorer kind of. I have an image on screen so you guys can see or a little video that they posted up as well. I think it's pretty cool. Looks dope. I don't know if I'm going to be able to grip my hands on one, but I'm definitely going to try. Let me know your thoughts on this brand new Pokemon Plus in the comment section below. Now going over some quick Pokemon anime news, Ash and Pikachu's journey to the Horn region where they met Mei and her brother Max during their travels, Ash takes on new gyms and may discover Pokemon contests. Do not miss their adventures in the sixth season of the Pokemon, the series, the Pokemon anime on Pokemon TV, which is available now. The whole series of Ruby and Sapphire is available to watch. Again, the app is free to download. And then if you download it, you get tons of Pokemon content, including again, this whole series of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. And to end today's episode with a little bit of history, trainers revisit the Johto region when Pokemon Crystal first released in North America on July 29, 2001, this was the first core Pokemon RPG to feature a female playable character. Share your memories of searching for Suicune with us trainers. And that's going to be it, guys, for today's show. Let me know your thoughts on all the topics that we went over today. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon News Daily.